When a 27-year-old Alvin Ailey and a small group of African-American dancers took the stage at the 92nd Street Y on March 30th, 1958, it was for a one-night-only engagement. But as it turned out, on that night, a whole new era in the arts had just begun. Ailey, of course, would go on to become one of the greats in modern dance history, and his company would grow and evolve beyond the stage to encompass education, community outreach, and even cultural diplomacy. Joining us now to talk about the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater's six decades of unprecedented accomplishments and how that venerable institution intends to celebrate its 60th anniversary season is Robert Battle, the artistic director of Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. Mr. Battle, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how did Alvin Ailey do it? What were his gifts? What was the alchemy that made this dance theater company so successful? Well, I think it's because he had something to say, that it wasn't just about dancing, but he was dancing his own truth. He saw the need uh, to see the stories told about his people that weren't being told on the concert dance stage. So that gave him a certain drive, a certain focus, I think, that was very much a movement. The company was founded on the brink of the civil rights movement, 1958. So I think there was something in the air about it that was a, kind of a part of that movement. Mm -hmm. And then the humanity in his work. You know, we were doing a program to celebrate him called Timeless Ailey right, right. at City Center. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. And you, what you see in his work is that it is timeless because it speaks to the human condition. So mm -hmm. when people come, they don't just see an Ailey performance, but they feel it and they take it with them. When that they is leave. true. That is so true. So what were the unique obstacles that Alvin Ailey uh, had to face? Well, as a black man in this country, and certainly at that time, uh, there weren't all of the opportunities uh, afforded to him uh, and to be taken seriously in the concert dance world even. Uh, so he did face obstacles either in dance or not in dance, just being a person of color in this country. Mm -hmm. And so in that way, he did face a lot of obstacle. But I think because he was so driven and the message was so universal, I even think that's why the title of the company is the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. Mm -hmm. He was claiming that he too was American. Uh -huh. And so even people who may uh, not see him as equals, they had to say, but this is American. And yeah. so their pride <laughs> sort of gets in there. So he was very clever and very brilliant in how he conceived this yeah. company. Uh, did Judith Jamison, his successor, and you, her successor, have you had to face unique obstacles as well? Uh, you know, because I'm standing on shoulders of people like Alvin Ailey, Catherine Dunham, uh, the list goes on and on, who have made it possible so that I can tell my story without some of the things that they had to deal with. So uh, I wouldn't speak for Judith Jamison, of course, being a woman, being black, Mm -hmm. in this country, being a, a boss, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm sure that she faced obstacles mm -hmm. uh, in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, but Alvin Ailey chose her because he knew that she would not only face it, but she would take the company to heights unknown. And she did. She did. Now, I know this is a difficult question, but if you had to list the most important accomplishments in the six decades of this venerable company, what would they be? Wow. <laughs> I know, is, I know, is, I know. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it could go on and on. Yeah. But certainly to just the fact that you could sustain a dance company and a modern dance company at that for as long as uh, we have, right? Six right. decades, that alone for any artistic institution is a feat because we know that, that often that is not supported necessarily by a government or, or that kind of funding. And so that alone is staying healthy as an organization. Mm -hmm. I think employing not only dancers, but crew members. We have a huge staff. Uh, that We have other choreographers that work with the company, lighting designers, it goes on and on. So keeping those people mm -hmm. employed, I think, is a huge feat. <laughs> We've been seen for, gosh, I don't know how many millions of people all over the globe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. And then I have to mention our building. Yeah. One of the largest buildings dedicated to dance, the Joan Weil Center for Dance. And we know in New York City, real estate is serious business. <laughs> yeah. And we have one of the largest buildings dedicated to dance on 55th and 9th Avenue. It's a beautiful building. Incredible. Beautiful. Yeah. So you took over 
as artistic director from Ms. Jemison, only the third person to have that job. How is it having that awesome responsibility and what new directions are you taking the company in? It is, it is an awesome responsibility. Mm -hmm. I thank Judith Jamison every day because I know what this company means to her and what Alvin Ailey himself meant to her. And the fact that she chose me, I think said something to me that I mean, I don't know that I could have ever imagined being in this position. Uh, and I think I've continued to stretch the company, continue to express the versatility of the dancers that is reflected in the repertory that I choose, that they can do almost anything. You know, and that's very important, that message of universality, but versatility, uh, I think, is something that is uh, one of the cornerstones of this dance company. So let's talk about the um, Ailey Ascending 60th Anniversary Celebration. Yes. Uh, it's part of the 60th anniversary season. Yes. Um, how, what's in it? What's, what events are going to encompass this This celebration? Yeah, well, one of the things we were looking at, and the reason we call it Ailey Ascending, is that we were hearing from a lot of people, either in the organization or from the outside, saying that we want to hear Mr. Ailey's voice. Uh, and so that was important. And that's why we called it Ailey Ascending, because although he died in 1989, uh, he continues to inspire us, continues to push the company forward by his very spirit. Uh, so one of the things that we're, we're doing is Rennie Harris, great hip hop choreographer, yep. Uh, choreographed a work called Lazarus. And it's a wonderful work because it's inspired by the life specifically of Alvin Ailey. It's a ballet? It's a ballet. Okay. And it's the first time this company is doing a two-act ballet. Wow. Usually you get your 20 minutes or your 30 minutes and you know, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But this time you will see the first part like a story, intermission, and then you will see the conclusion of the story. And so he was looking at the things that Alvin Ailey might have faced, adversity, all of those things and then being inspired by how he had the grace and the courage to tell his story. And you mentioned Timeless Ailey. Well, yes, Talk Timeless about Ailey. Well, Alvin Ailey's works are classic. Uh, one of the works, it's a lot of different excerpts and, and uh, works by Alvin Ailey for this particular program. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the works is called Night Creature, which he collaborated with Duke Ellington uh, to make this work Night Creature. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important works, Cry, uh, that he, a solo that he choreographed on Judith Jamison in 1971 as a gift to his mother because he couldn't afford to give her one. And it expresses uh, the experiences of black women in this country being brought over in chains and then servitude and then at the end, triumph. So it's really wonderful. And we only have about 30 seconds left, but you're taking this uh, the celebration is going to go across the country, right? Absolutely. <laughs> we will continue to have revelations, his most important work, uh, and the most important work ever seen. We will continue that all over the globe. It's going to be it's going to be a busy 2019 season. I hope you get some rest. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'll try. <laughs> hey, Robert, thank you so much for joining us. It's thank been a you. pleasure talking to you. Thank you. To learn more about Ailey Ascending 60th Anniversary Celebration, visit our website at metrofocus.org.